John chapter 2, verses 7 through 9. When it says, brethren, or brother, it occur, that's translated four times from the same word, aldelphos. Okay, it's G80 in the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. Now, the concordance is matched. It's G80, okay? And that originates from Alpha, G1, Alpha. That's the first and last. Huh? That's God himself, okay? As a connective particle. God's connecting us back to God, and he's connecting the Christ in you and the Christ in me. Regardless of any stupid race or man, woman, child, any different race, black, white, Hispanic, Chinese, it doesn't matter. The Christ, the seed of Christ is planted in all of our minds. Hmm. Now the potential to come out and grow that seed is when we are green like God. I agree with him emphatically in these hard storms things when he's breaking it up like clod busting. All that dust thinking, that fleshly thinking. Through these trials, he's load testing us. As we agree with God and not our own good and evil thinking, our Adamic nature, we're eating for the tree of knowledge of our own good and evil thinking when we do that. That's not going to produce, get the increase from God at all. It's an imagination. It's, see, that's that false accuser telling you good, bad. Here, this is a good way. This is a bad way. It's all BS. Because it's worthless and detestable. It's like down in your cesspool. Come and eat this stuff. It's really good for you. And it's not. It's going to make you sicker than a dog. Hmm. Much worse than when I... Took a big chaw of my grandpa's red man chewing tobacco and swallowed it as a little kid and I turned green. You swallow this stuff, this good and evil stuff. What do you think? The grass is greener on the other side? Or this bullshit thinking, I'm getting mad, I'm getting even, I'm going to knock them out. And we all have been subjected to that. Some more, some less. Hmm? Or tempted to, man, if I just cheat them a little bit, I'll get rich. I'll get ahead if I just do this. If nobody sees me, then there's nothing wrong with it. God's putting it there for a purpose. Hmm? Letting you. Huh? It's not God omniscient, omnipresent, sovereign, omnipotent. He's in control of all of it. You don't get by, by with nothing. God's putting it all, all the storms. It's not some devil, some fictitious bunch of BS. Hmm. That's poopy thinking. That's child, little kids out there. That's like little Angelica telling the other little rugrats on that little cartoon movie. The lawnmower out there, that's not even a lawnmower, that's a big bad monster. It's going to get you, get you, get you. And then daddy and mommy out there, it's really not daddy and mommy pushing the lawnmower to clean up all the snakes and everything, cut down the grass out in the yard so you guys can go out and play and not get all ate up by mosquitoes or sneaky snakes in your garden, your mind. Let's get right down to brass tacks. Quit, let's quit being a big dummy. Quit walking around with blinders on. Trying to eat the carrot in front of it. You gotta be quicker than that. And pulling it out from under. Huh? You gotta do it a little bit harder, a little bit harder. If you just do it harder. If I was you, I woulda, woulda, woulda. Hmm. Hindsight's twenty twenty, right? A righteous man will fall. How many times? Seven times it says in Proverbs, right? But he rises again. Let's put it more into something. A little bit more, it, he'll get up quickly and go on. Not necessarily meaning in the natural. Huh? I mean, he'll come arise again and go on through these hard things. Hmm. God's given these as gifts for us to overcome opportunities. 
thought that he can give us an increase in the way we think. So that we can walk. That means living, lifestyle. The way we live our lives, where we exist, exist, exist. Hmm. On streets of gold, that's in streets of gold. Resting in God. Can being connected back to God. In God's nature, character, and authority. God is love and God is light. Or lightning. Zap! He's zapping out. That old stinking thinking, that fleshy thinking, that's not your brother. That's not the seed of Christ. Don't mistake it. Hmm? Don't believe that. Satanus. It's not a monster. Not Satan. No. That's an imposter of light. That imposter of God. That's your carnal thinking. Your good and evil stuff. Or there's God. Come God's way. A green light God. Green light God. All you got. Everything. Follow me. We know what Jesus said. It's being hot pursuit of. Huh? Go at it full bore, wide open. As much as lies within you. If you've only been in a certain area, just germinated it, then you've got a one. Like a level one. If you've done it a few times, one, then it's doubled to two, to four, to eight. Then you got a level eight. And you keep doing that. It's purifying you. Like in a refiner's pot. Each time God's skimming off stuff. And it's doubling each time. I've done, went through and, and, and taught about that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you need to go back and study and listen and learn. Experience these things. There's no amount of book knowledge or studying is going to get it done. That's part of it. But it's living it. Experiencing it. And green lighting God all the way. And there's still a small voice in that eye of the storm. Huh? Whichever way you need it. So that you can go through the eye of the needle and receive more of God. Only spirit can go through the eye of the needle. All that other baggage thinking. That garbage thinking. That trash. That carnality. That non-spiritual thinking. Whether it's good or evil. It's from the wrong tree. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's from like the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Yuck. That's poop. It's going to get you in trouble. It's like the prophet Isaiah said. It's filthy, menstruous, stinking rags. You dig deeper into the original language. Menstruous. Ooh, yuck. It's the nastiest, nasty. Huh? Oh, man. It's going to take you down and suck you right down into your own crap or your own yuck. The bottomless pit of your own stinking thinking. Not some scary thing out there trying to make you. No. Get that crap out of your mind. That is antichrist. It's opposing to God. It's not the Christ. There's a difference. A dichotomy. Two opposing viewpoints. Hmm. Go God's way, green light God, amen God, amen, 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 exist, 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 agree with God, all you got, yay, 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 don't go this way, well, I got another old idea, it's a good way, right God, then we do all kinds of things, good and evil over here, in your name, with your stamp of approval, what's God going to say? Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I didn't tell you to do that crap. Basically. Hmm? Ooh, yuck. Spew you. He'll spew you. He'll vomit you violently. That stinking stuff cannot enter the kingdom of God. The rule, the right to rule. You come up a higher. God gives the increase. This stuff does not. Yuck. Okay? Now, when it says brethren in here, in this very first verse in First John chapter 2, verse 7, I'm going to read. Well, this is not complete, thorough breakdown, but I'm going to just break down this a little bit. There's one word in here, and it occurs four times. Brethren, brother, 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 I think it is. Okay? But this brethren is aldelphos. 
A-D-E-L-P-H-O-S. G80, okay? And it comes from Alpha, G1 Alpha. That's the first and last. That's the Spirit of God that's planted in our gardens, in our mind. When He formed us from the dust, the clay of the earth, and breathed, planted His Spirit, the seed of Christ, in us. Huh? He's speaking spiritually inside of our minds. It's the same today, yesterday, and forever. I, the Lord, change not. Hmm. Therefore, you sons of Jacob, that trickster, that heel grabber, this good and evil stuff, are not consumed, because you're not eating that bull crap no more. I know mo no mo. You're telling, hit the road, you Jacob nature, and go Christ. Huh? No. That's a connecting particle. It's connecting you back to God. Everything God is your S O A Z. Your safe place. This stuff is the danger zone. Huh? Ew, yuck. You say a highway to hell, it's the highway to your own poop thinking. It's not some fictitious, oh, God's a big bad monster and will kill you, kill you, kill you. Come on. Remember, I told you there's four words that they translate in the whole Bible as hell. They're, they're messed up. Sheal, Hades. Old Testament, New Testament. Hmm. Uh, Guiana, that's the garbage dump. South of the Valley of Hanam, where they burn up all this garbage to garbage. It's speaking right in your mind. And Tartar Ao. You can think of it as this. Tor, Tor, Ao. It's the lowest, deepest depths of your carnal mind. It's just a little touching on it. Okay? Now. So now, we are to love the seed of Christ in everyone, whether it's uh, even germinated yet. Huh? We can't find it nowhere. That person is the most evil, evil, evil. They're nothing but evil. All you're seeing is the poop thinking, their fleshy thinking. And it may be awful. It may be like that legion. Ooh, yuck! What is that like? Uh, I can't remember the number exactly. 4,000 something to 6,000 something. Troops. And it'll grow worse than that. <laughs> hmm? Bullshit thinking, right? Ooh, yuck. It's this red dog, endemic dog to the max. Like a Hitler or serial killers, pedophile. We all have that potential. In our minds, if we feed this, feed this, feed this, and deny Christ, hold, try to hog tie God and go this way and say, We're not hog tying you, God. <laughs> we just don't want to talk about you never, 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 or never even give you any acknowledgement. Huh? You're agreeing this way all the way, and it's doubling. You're getting worse, worse, worse. You're, you're just burying Christ. The seed of Christ in your earth. In your earthly thinking. Hmm? In your flesh you're thinking. No, hog tie this dog. But that's a good way. Hog tie this dog. That's a bad way. I got to write. Oh, hog tie it. Hands and feet. Not your works. Your efforts. Your hands. And your feet. Quit living it out. Quit existing in it. And put a cork in that thing's mouth. Don't. Give it any place. Don't give any place to the devil, not the not some fictitious monster. To your own carnal mind. And green light God. Always. Boom, boom, boom. If you fall, get up. We've all fell. Huh? Quit condemning if you're condemning others, get up. You dummy. You're throwing rocks at others and you've done much worse in your own mind. That you're not acknowledging, so you're in fact bearing. Because there is therefore now no condemnation, no adverse sentence to those that are in, in Christ Jesus. In Christ. Huh? Oh my. Now, so. This Aldelphos, that they translate as brother, brethren, 
Hmm? Four times in this passage, 1 John chapter 2, verse 7 through 11, and I'm going to read those. Uh, this is a little more skinny, but I'm breaking this down for this one word in there. Huh? This is not exhaustive, but I'm going to try to keep it under, I don't know how long. <laughs> it might go on and on, okay? But we're going to get to it, okay? You need to learn this. If you don't, it's not my fault. I'm putting it up there freely for you. I don't have an income at all right now. Ah, God will take care of me. Huh? Right? My dear wife died. Whom I loved as much as myself. There wasn't a thing I could do. But she's back with the Father. She's home with God. She's better. I gotta get better. I'm gonna green light God. That's the only way to do it. Your good and evil stuff won't get it done. Won't get her done, right? All right. Now, brethren, that's Aldelphos. It comes from Alpha. Huh? It's a connecting particle. God's connecting you back to Him. Little by little by little. Hit line upon line, precept upon precept. He's zapping out the garbage, thinking and bringing you up into Him. Use it as rocket fuel. Don't bury your head in your own poop, thinking like an ostrich burying its head in the sand. Thinking, oh, they just don't see me. And your whole butt's up in the air. Your ass, nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm speaking in the love of God. No, you're not. You're speaking hee haw, you jackass. All right? <laughs> Quit speaking jackass. Ah, hee haw, hee haw. And saying it's God. It's not. Just going to put on oh, look at this, this great big thing here. I got factories that says all kinds of things. I'm doing this thing. I'll quote, I can quote the King James for you. Don't understand it, then you're not looking beyond it. Hmm? Okay, you're not looking into what God's telling you. All right now, this comes from Alpha. That's the first and last, the beginning and the end. That's God. Alpha and Omega, right? Okay. That's the seed of Christ. And Delphos. Or Delphos, I think is what it's pronounced. D E L P H E S, okay? That's the womb. And not just a woman's womb in the natural. This is the womb, like where God's making and puts you together, and everybody, He's put a measure of faith, measure of that pistis. Trust in God, but you got to agree like God. Because not everybody gets the same amount of testings and trials. Those are opportunities to agree like God. Here comes the test and the trial. <laughs> why me, God, why me? Or I'm Big Bad Billy. I'm tempted, tall, and bullet peep. Do da, do da. Good and evil. Huh? So damn it. You trust in that, you're going to fall. You're going to fall into your own poop thinking and think you're eating the best food ever and you're eating a big old poop hot dog. Or you're going to take and hog tie this stuff and agree with God emphatically. Hang on to God. Cleave to the rock. Cling to it. He is the rock to hold my salvation. He is the strength of my life. God is. Huh? You are my hope and my inspiration. Lord, unto you will I cry. I believe into you. Believe into you. For your faithful word to me. You have been my help in time of need. Lord, unto you will I cleave. Green light God, agree with him. Amen, him. Lord, unto you will I cleave. And hold tight this crap thinking. You are the rock. Yes, sir. You are the rock. Amen. You are the rock. Hallelujah. You are the rock. 
Oh, help my salvation, bringing me back into life. Zoe life, the fullness of life in God. Not this kind of poopy life, huh? There are two opposing, it's a dichotomy, of two opposing viewpoints. The poop thing is the greatest, man. <laughs> Big hot dog poop. Man, no, this is a milkshake of a milkshake of a milkshake. Ew, poop mixed in it. You're dust thinking, fussy thinking, it's doom and gloom, poisonous, stinking, menstruous rags. Ew, filthy, ew, yuck. Hold tight that stuff. Spew it out of your mouth like daddy got. Violently upchuck that stuff. Go to God and he'll zap this stuff out. God will enlighten you. He'll take, oh, it's light. God is light. Or lightning. Zap! Burn this stuff up and bring you up higher. And higher and higher. It doubles each time. Right? I've, I've explained all this before. Okay? Don't understand? You need to go back and study. You could ask me questions and I'll try to open it up more for you. But if you can't hear it, God's not giving you the ears to hear Keep pressing, though. Keep going. Keep going to God. Quit going to your own good and evil poop thinking. I won't get it down. Okay? You learn this stuff in the school of hard knocks. Okay? Now, let's read this stuff. That's this coming from the Alpha, the seed of Christ, buried in your womb, in your mind, beep, 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 in your garden, the Garden of Eden. Most of that is poopy, fleshly, red adamic, yuck, dirt, dust thinking. And God planted his seeds himself in you. God cannot deny himself. Those are the tiniest of tiniest of tiniest seeds. Like a 1E to the negative 30. It's the, the plonk loons going down three times, three depths. Plonk loons, plonk loons, plonk loons. Unimaginable depths, God's down in there. And as you germinate, 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 He'll come to life in you and bring a newness of life permanently in each and every thought process. God is the living God. He is the living God, enduring forever, and His kingdom shall not be destroyed. Right? And his dominion, and his dominion shall be forever and ever. Huh? And this king shall reign, all this Jesus shall reign in glory as yes, this king. Shall reign forevermore. Praise the Lord. How do you praise the Lord? Green light him. Amen. I agree with you, God, not this thinking, thinking. Praise the Lord. Come into his presence. Now, how you go to his presence? Praise the Lord. Not just doing it in mouth on it. Praise God! And inside, you're not praising God at all. Because you're not bound to truth. Bound the need to God and coming to the truth. Hmm? Oh God, this is not truth. It's a liar. Well, yeah, but we got poop evidence right here. Huh? Uh-uh. Hmm. Okay. Now, we are to love that seed of Christ in everyone. We're not to love this dust poop thinking. We don't have to put up with that crap. Ooh, spit that chunk out. Bleh, vomit it out like, ooh, man, that dog is making me sicker than a dog. Don't be a dog. Huh? Don't be a dog. No more, no more. Well, that's a good thing. Well, it's dog thinking, buddy. Bow, wow, 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 wow. Don't. Yuck. Hold tight. <laughs> hmm? Take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Right? 
It don't do you one bit of good to be able to, you can quote the whole Bible from beginning to end from the King James Version. Man, I can just cock a doodle doo, crow bigger than you. You don't, you don't know nothing. You Pharisee, you're shining outside the cup and inside it's full of all kinds of dead man's bones, some abom abomination. Ooh, yuck. Filthy mister, stinking rags. You're not getting rid of because you can't get rid of it yourself. You only suppress that at best with your good works, your bad works, your religious, man, me religious stuff. Or going plumb awful and just murdering, killing, and over, doing all kinds of stuff. Pret pretending like a lot of those serial killers pretended to be a, a Boy Scout leaders and members of the church building and all this stuff. And, and they were going out there and killing people. That's just another type of picture. Huh? Quit all this stuff. Hog tie that stuff and agree with God. And he'll change the way you think. Bring you back into his right, right mindedness. See, you'll you'll worship God. You'll you'll bow the knee to God. You'll give God all the glory. Huh? You'll worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay? Now <clears throat> the second I'll read this. I'm going to point out the four times that Adelphos is in there. Okay? That's your brother. That's the seed of Christ. There's a little bit of the seed of Christ in you, a little bit in me. Now, how much we've germinated it. Huh? How much we've agreed with God depends how big, how much that harvest of God's love. God is love. He's just loved beyond mere description of words. And your retom, your ability to love God as he first loved you, is increasing every time you hog tie this crap. Your old good and evil stuff, your redemic ways, your beast nature, your 666 thinking God takes a little bit out and increases his love in you to meet God's love. Hmm? God's love is child. It's, it's love beyond the mere description of words. It's infinite love. In our love, huh, for God and for others, for the Christ and others, which is God. So a little bit in each of us. If if it was just this stuff here, dust thinking or a natural person and no God, it'd be dirt. Like you wouldn't, huh? Even like down into nucleus, nucle uh, in the atoms and stuff. Strong, weak nuclear forces, the electromagnetism, and gravity. If those weren't precisely where it is, it'd be just all kinds of chaos. It wouldn't work. If it changed it just a little bit, it wouldn't work. It'd be a whole mess. God's got it all under control. Come on, man. Now... Let me read these. In First John chapter two, verse seven, it says, "Brethren, Aldelphos, right? That's that garden with the seed of God planted all the way down there, right? The Alpha and this Delphos, the womb of that garden, in your mind, right? Hmm? Talk some spiritual truths here, not just woo, big ghost up there and all that. No, no, no." When we die, that dust thinking is going back to the earth from where it came, and the spirit goes back to the Father. Lisa's already completed, and she's back with the Father. She's better now. Hmm. I got to keep going on. You got to keep going on. Huh? So the more of these you get, you're actually blessed. <laughs> Hold tight to this stuff and come back. Okay? No. Hang on. A little bit of oats. I had oats for breakfast. Okay. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment, which ye had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. 
Get down here to verse 8. I have this blown up great big so I can see it. Okay. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which is, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness, that's the ignorance, that's the cloak that you see dimly, you can't even see through, that's your own carnality, ignorant of God's way, huh, you're trying to go good and evil stuff, that's ignorance, that's not going to get it done, go God's way, okay. The darkness is past. It's over. Go God's way and he'll zap it out. God's the one that gives increase. And the true light now shineth. Hmm. Verse 9. He that saith he is in the light, the illumination of God, and hateth his brother because he's black or he's white or... He's got some kind of other earthly origin. I hate him. Or he's not doing any kind of condemn, condemnation. He's doing good and evil stuff. Hog tie that shit. That scene here and taste touch as well with your own ego in the way. Ooh, yuck. It's giving you diarrhea thinking and taking you to your own diarrhea thinking. Get it? Hog tie that stuff. And agree with God, because Christ is planted in everybody, the seeds. Now, how much those seeds are growing into God and oh, God's likeness, when we see him, we'll be just as he is, right? In the likeness, the exact representation of God, because he's changing us. He's purifying us in the fire, the pure fire of purification, the divine purification. Okay? Now, let me read verse 9 again. He that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother, Delphos, is in darkness even until now. Remember the Delphos? First time it said brethren, there's his brother, same word, okay? It's a noun, okay? <clears throat> Person, place, or thing, right? Now, verse 10. He that loveth his brother, abideth in the light, in the illumination of God, in that lightning, zap, 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 just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, speaking of your three ages, your three times, your whole life, you're in that fiery furnace, it's heated up five times as hot to kill out this thing and bring life to you, five is a number like grace, Got bringing God's influence in your heart. And this stuff is going down the crapper. Burning up. Zap! And use a rocket fuel. It's changing from this energy up to that. Bringing you back into God's. Huh? Okay. So, he that hath... Uh, he that... Uh, he that loveth his brother abideth in the light. And there is none occasion of stumbling in him. Verse 11, let me get this up here. But he that hateth his brother, that's Aldelphos again, is in darkness, ignorance, doesn't know God, hmm? not agreeing with God. And walketh, he liveth, he's trying to live it out his own, himself away. in darkness, in ignorance of God. This is ignorance. This is not. Agree with God emphatically. Amen. Green light God. Go on. This has got to stop. You can't get through that intersection. Like a traffic light. You go through it, you're violating God. You're not going to get away from God. <laughs> you're dumb on us if you think you can. That's what this donkey is doing. Dumb donkey thinking. But that's a good way. Mm-hmm. It didn't work. Uh, now, let's read verse 11. But he that hateth his brethren is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he goeth. Whither he goeth. Because that darkness has blinded his eyes. Hmm. Because he's got like shit's thinking. Seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. Only believe, well, I don't hear shit. With his ego. Edging God out 
is me, myself, and I that's loud and obnoxious, only speaks to you in here. When emphatic. All kinds of beast nature. Stop that stuff. <laughs> Hog tie it. Yes, sir, Daddy God. I agree with you emphatically. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean the hood on your own dumb donkey thinking. <laughs> all right. In all your ways acknowledge him, God. And he will direct, and he will direct your whole path. Huh? God will carry you through. Hmm? Not this stuff. This stuff's got to go to in your earth, in your field, in your mind. One will be taken, this crap taken, and the other left. Not what the not what the religious stuff is telling you. Oh, the people will take out Christ and leave all this, and then you'll be doomed and gloomed. No, that's backwards. Get in there and interpret it right. The spirit of God, not your old good and evil stuff. Hold tight this stuff, and God will take it out, zap it out, zap, and bring you back to life and Him. To the fullness of life in him. That's the only way. Hmm. To bring you into oneness with God. All this stranger realm. There's seeds in there. But they're not really coming in. That they know God intimately. Hmm. They're, they're going through this stuff. Hmm. As you go through it. Line upon line upon line. Precept upon precept. You're growing inside. He's taking out this hard, stony ground, this stony heart, and giving you a soft, pliable heart so you can grow more and know the more that you know, the more that you know you don't know. I want more of you, Daddy. I want more of you, Daddy. I want all that you got for me. I said that for years and years and years, and oh, my goodness. Hard stuff. Huh? You still got to go on. You might fall a little bit at times, but you're going to go on with God. God is my strength, not this crap thinking. Beat it! You damn carnal crap. I'm going on with God. If God be for me, who cares how much of that poop stuff is against me? Huh? In others and in me. A lot of people misinterpret. If they see something from the outside, oh man, oh man, you're in what manner of sin are you in, Job? Job's name means hated and persecuted. Oh, woulda, 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 good, 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 hindsight is better. Oh, oh, yeah, hindsight. Oh, oh. Dominus. Job didn't curse God any through all this stuff. Hmm. And like in Job 22.10. Huh? Go read that yourself. Study it. Live it. Gold nature is not talking about this natural gold. That's worthless. That's perishable. It's only good for here. We're talking about the God. God's love. God's golden nature. His character. That's what we're to. Works. Our works. It's going to be through that. No matter if they can see it, the light of it, or if they're still in darkness and there's a great gulf between it and they, all they see is darkness. They don't see the light of God at all. It appears totally just, man, that stuff is just wrong. We're going to condemn you more. Huh? God's going to bring you out of this stuff. Trust Him. Trust God and trust no man. Hmm. Trust the seed of you can the seeds in Christ in Christ and the 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 Christ in others when it comes from God, yes. But you love your neighbor, your fellow human being, your brother. 
huh? The Christ in there. But don't love this crap stuff. Is this poison, stinking, filthy? Ugh, yuck. Hmm. Tree knowledge for good and evil. Ooh, yuck. Jacob nature. Ooh, hill grabber trying to trip you up. In your lifestyle, in your walk. You can't walk good enough. You keep falling on your face. Oh, 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 oh. I'm dying again. And believe me. And it still gets me a little bit. But I'm, when I'm by myself, I miss my wife dearly. I know she's better, but oh man, it, 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 it's, it, it's, it's only been a couple months. Today makes two months. Oh man, it, it's, it's very depressing and hard. I'm by myself, but I'm not really by myself. God trust me. And there's all kinds of people around me. It may look like I don't have any income, no nothing. And I, who knows how long it'll be. God's going to take care of me. Hmm? People will help me. Love, huh? love me. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love your brother as yourself. Love God with everything you got. And hog tie the crap out of this stuff. Rodeo time supreme. <laughs> In your own mind. Not out there trying to condemn others. Not rodeo you're thinking, buddy. That ain't going to work. Agree with God. No matter how many times you fall, get up. Arise again. Amen. 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 Remember, agree. Exist, exist, exist. All your days. Just three days. Three ages. Not a literal 24 hour period or one time event. Sure, all your life. Get as much as God has for you. Uh, yeah. That other stuff will blind your eyes. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.